So, the structure and function of blood vessels then. So, the blood vessels are adapted to perform specific functions. We, we, we've already seen that the, the two jobs of the blood vessels in general are to maintain pressure on the transport medium so that the blood can be transported a greater distance and and then when the blood reaches or when the transport medium reaches the cells the, and tissues that need to be supplied with the oxygen and from where the carbon dioxide needs to be removed it needs to allow the diffusion okay so the blood in order to do all these things the blood vessels cannot have a uniform structure all the way um through okay so um there's three main types of blood vessels the first being arteries, then you've got the veins, and finally you've got the capillaries. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is relate structure and function a little bit. So, there you go. So, uh, very quickly then, structure and relating to function. So the arteries, the main function is that it has to maintain pressure on the transport medium. It has to maintain pressure on the transport medium. The veins, remember, they have to maintain the flow. They have to keep the transport medium moving because at this, by the time the fluid has got to the veins, it's under low pressure. So the veins have to maintain flow of the transport medium. And the main function of the capillaries is to allow diffusion. Is to allow diffusion in and out of the capillary. So let's see then how, how respectively, how they all do this, okay? So we've drawn a line clear under the function. So we said what they have to achieve, now let's see how they do that. Right, so arteries, uh, first of all, they have, okay? So the narrow lumen allows, maintains pressure, maintains pressure on the transport medium. This is important. So the narrow lumen maintains the pressure on, on the transport medium. Next, it's got a folded, it's got a folded endothelium. So that's the innermost layer. So that's that one right there, endothelium. It's got a folded endothelium that prevents damage due to the high pressure. Okay, so because the, the endothelium can expand, it prevents the damage to that endothelium caused by high pressure. Finally, it's got a thick uh, elastic layer. It's got a thick elastic layer uh, with collagen and what that does is it can expand it can expand and importantly recoil. It can expand you know when when the pressure is very high and after expanding it can recoil which keeps the blood under the high pressure. If it, if it simply expanded and just stayed there, it wouldn't be maintaining the pressure. It expands and then recoils, again, maintaining high pressure. Okay, so those are the key things about the arteries. Now let's look at the veins. So the structure of the veins is it's got a large lumen got a large lumen because it doesn't need to maintain high pressure okay it's got valves and it needs the valves 
to ensure, it needs the vowels to ensure blood flow in in the right direction. Okay? Or you can you can say prevent backflow, that's that, that's also fine. Um another inter uh, key point is it's got a it's got a relatively thinner it's got a relatively thinner wall. Okay? Now this is important because then the uh the skeletal muscles around the vein can help uh squeeze the vein and it you know help move the blood along. So thinner walls thinner walls allow uh skeletal muscles skeletal muscles to push blood. Okay? So you know the arteries are quite thick and you you know you can't squash them. But uh if you had muscles, if you had like skeletal muscles around around this vein, for example, as the muscles contract as you move around, right, because the vein is kind of deformable, because it doesn't have very thick walls, so the contraction and relaxation of the muscles around the vein allow blood to, help blood to move along the vein, because at this point it's at very low pressure. Capillaries then, capillaries, uh, and, and this is all going to be about diffusion. All right, so the main function of the capillaries is diffusion, and so how does it do that? So the capillary wall, capillary wall, one cell thick, i.e. short diffusion, short diffusion distance. Right, next, it's, it's also got, its lumen is very narrow very narrow very narrow lumen again that means that that the gases or only have to diffuse a short distance from the red blood cells short diffusion distance okay and another key point about the capillary is that there's a large surface area of them there's a large surface area because they're so small and they uh, collectively form a large surface area okay because of the network of capillaries that kind of innervate all tissues okay so those are the key points about the blood vessels and their function I hope you can appreciate how their different structures allow them to perform their functions make sure you're ready to explain why